What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview tutorial of the Adalo uh, online application creating platform and its different features. So Adalo is an, a leading application builder that requires no coding, so it's best suited for beginners as well as advanced users since it has lots of advanced features. You can build a mobile app for your business, no code required, as I told you. And here, if you go to their website, that's adalo.com, you will land on their homepage right here, where you scroll down here, you can scroll down to see some of the benefits and features of the platform, as well as some screenshots at some representations, visual representations of the platform in action. So you can design your app, you can build, you can publish it, as well as growing your business with it. So scrolling down here, you can see that you can create a completely custom app, uh, tailored to your business needs and you can customize or change how it looks based of course on your business theme and you can manage your business data inside of Adalo so they have a database or a data source that you can use here and you can quickly publish to any app store and custom domain so you can build web apps as well as mobile apps and if you scroll down even more you can learn more about the product here the uh, platform as well as some of the features that you can integrate in it and some benefits that you can add in like in-app purchases like with Stripe and other uh, providers. You can integrate lots of tools, services and apps here such as Zapier, Stripe, Google Maps, Gmail, Zoom amongst others as well here as some other features and benefits. So let's take a look at their pricing pretty quickly. So if you click here on pricing at the top You'll see here that they have many plans, the free plan, which is of course free, the starter plan, which is $36 per month, and the professional plan up to the business plan, which is $200 per month. Of course, these are the annual prices. If you choose to pay monthly, it'll be a bit more expensive. Now you can go ahead, compare the features of each plan to see which one suits your business needs better. For me here, I'll get started with the free plan. Click on get started. Or you can just click on sign up or log in if you already have an account from the homepage. So you can sign up here with your email address, password, and full name. So I'm going to fill in these details pretty quickly and then continue the sign up process with you. Okay, now that I entered my email, password, and name. Okay, let's do it. And here you'll be asked some questions to better customize your experience. Who are you building apps for? Okay, you can see, select here my existing customers and community or myself. I'm just playing around. Okay. And now your app name and your information or your details will be updated here in real time. Let's add here an application uh, idea. So what type of application do you want to build? Um, let's select I want to do list. Okay, continue. And here, uh, let's get some tasks here. Start with sample data. So you can choose to start with a sample data that is generated by the platform to better help you get a grasp of uh, the platform's uh, interface and how to use it. Okay, start with a sample data here. So you get an example here, such as name of the task, a main photo that you can add, short description and long description, or you can import your own data from a CSV file or sync your data from an existing software here. They give you a list of integrations. So if you choose this option, it'll open a new tab where you can choose here the uh, app that you want to import your data from. Now let's close this. Let's go back to start with sample data, continue. And where do you want your users to view your app? You can uh, choose on a mobile device or on a mobile tablet and desktop devices. Okay, so I'll choose uh, everything. And they give you even a screenshot or a photo of how your app will look like on a mobile device, a tablet, and uh, like on the browser on a computer, desktop view. Okay, continue and then you are redirected to your main dashboard. So let's close this uh, pop-up here. And now you have your main dashboard. Here are the list apps. I have here my to-do list app and I can create a new app within here. I can get a preview of the app from here. So if I click here on view app, I can show a staging preview or share my test app. So let's say uh, staging preview. So this is how my app will look like here. So here is how my app will look on a desktop, tablet, and mobile devices. So for a user, they'll have to enter like their full name, email, password, sign up to my app here to use it. Now let's close this uh, tab right here. And let's go back to the main dashboard. 
Now here you can click on this plus icon to add elements to your app. You can add text element, you can add a button, you can add image, sample lists, etc. And here you can add like ready-made sections such as uh, like photo section, an empty section to add your uh, data in it, header, heroes and stuff like that. And here you have your main app like layout. So you have the login page here. And if you click on any element on any page, as you can see here, the menu pops up and you can edit this element. And here it redirects to the home list once the customer logs in or signs up. And here you have the details uh, page as well as the create model page. So um, let's, for example, start with the sign up page here. And here you can navigate with the trackpad. I'm using the trackpad on my MacBook and you can zoom in by pinching with two fingers and scroll here with by scrolling with two fingers as well the interface might be a bit different if you use a like a desktop or a windows computer however you should find the navigation pretty easy now if i click here on the company logo i can edit it i can upload an image here with my logo i can use a database or insert an image from url so let's click on upload and here i can click on the image to choose an image from my computer so i'll just choose an image that i was working on for a previous uh, project here let's say okay this one and as you can see the image is updated and my logo is updated now if i click here on this section i can set the type here this is a sign up form i can click here on the form drop down to edit the setting form of the settings which data collection i want to uh, collect data for users or tasks here if i click on tasks now the uh, form is changed now here they'll gather like short description long description and an image a name instead of name email and what do you want the form to do create a new task now if i go back to users what do you want the form to do log the user in or sign the user up so here this is a login form with email and password if i choose sign up here now it updates with email password username and full name or profile image that's a sign up form and I can here drag the form up a bit here and this text I can drag it up this title and if I uh, double click on it here to highlight the text here I can edit the text I can here change the text so let's say for example sign up okay and um, here let's drag also this uh, paragraph here at the top I can also change it and if I click on a text element here for example the sign up I can even edit the uh, text here so I can add magic text I can edit the formatting edit the font and edit the text width here edit the size the alignment and as well as the color so let's make it for example red and here I can add action so there are no actions here for the sign up text I can add an action for example to open a new link here in a new screen or a new feature create model I can create a new task or new user update the user login delete the login user and stuff like that i can edit the style here if i want to okay as so. now here as you can see here i can edit any element on any page so if i click for example on a an image here i can replace it i can even remove it i can edit the formatting for it and here i have the branding so you can change the primary colors for your brand to that will be applied to all the pages so so the primary color here is green as you can see it's applied to many elements of the any page and if i select another color for example like this violet color as you saw here the uh, color is now changed across all the screens of the app now the secondary color the default background let's add like a pink background as you can see all changes will be applied in real time and here i have these screens so if i can show here all the screens that i have let's focus for example on the home list here it brings it up that i can focus on it and here i have the database where i can add the users and the tasks here so i have five tasks or five records which are the sample tasks that are generated by default that i chose once i was signing up here uh, as you see here these are the tasks and here i have my settings i can publish the app here of course you need to upgrade to publish I can view here the analytics of course i don't have anything since this is a newly created app and here you can view the virgin history so uh here you can view your app and you can share your test app as i showed you now uh that's pretty much it that's how you can use the edalo platform to create simple apps for your business